Hello, I'm Lou Westway for CNET here with the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now, Samsung has put some interesting new hardware onto its fifth Galaxy S smartphone. That's a fingerprint scanner on the front and a heart rate monitor on the back. We're going to take a closer look at these two new bits of tech. Let's start with the fingerprint scanner. Now, obviously, there's one of these already on the iPhone 5S, but there's some applications here that you don't get on an Apple phone. Apart from using this fingerprint scanner to make payments, you can also use it to restrict access to certain files on the phone using an application called Private Mode. When Private Mode is activated, you can go through and select photos, music, uh, particular uh, media files, and you can tag them as only being accessible in Private Mode. And that means they won't be viewable unless you give that fingerprint swipe. In our testing, we found the scanner didn't always work, and sometimes we had to try two or three times before it would recognize our print. Maybe it'll just take some getting used to. Next up, what about that heart rate scanner? Well, Samsung wants you to use this to track your exercise. Now, the way it works is it shines a red light through your finger, and that actually measures your pulse so it knows how fast your heart is beating. It works in conjunction with Samsung's S Health app, uh, if I fire this up, you can see it's telling me to place my finger on the sensor and it gives me my heart rate in BPM. If you want, you can see your progress on a graph like this. Now, at the moment, it seems this only really works with S Health, but I'm wondering if other apps could start to use it in the future. The fingerprint scanner and the heart rate monitor are the two most interesting bits of new hardware on the Galaxy S5. But are they enough to tempt you to buy? Why don't you let us know? I'm Luke Westway for CNET at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Check out CNET.com for much more.